How's it going, comic fans? It is Mike from the Hardcover Comic here. Today I wanted to talk about an Image Comics title that I personally very, very much enjoy. It's a few years old now. There's even been a follow-up series to this, Descender, by Jeff Lemire, Dustin Nguyen. A uh, fantastic sci-fi title. I'm going to take a look at both the deluxe editions today, sort of flip through them. I know these are very hard to find nowadays, but nonetheless, there are some uh, whispers, and Lemire, I think, has even confirmed this, that there will be reprints of both deluxe editions sometime in the near future uh, to coincide with uh, a sender deluxe edition that will be coming out, sort of collecting the spiritual... Well, the I mean, the success or the sequel to this title. First, though, organicpricebooks.com with the code, promo code THC. Ship it together. You'll get 5% off your order if you order three books or more. Very exciting stuff. Love organicpricebooks.com. Fantastic website. So the Descender Deluxe Edition is very nice books, like I mentioned earlier. They're a bit hard to find now. Um, or if you can find them, they're very, very expensive. Uh, this these books came out a, a handful of years ago. I think Descender Deluxe Volume One was maybe 2018 or so, 2019. Um, either way, I, I ordered Volume Two in 2020, so it must have been a couple years before that. Jeff Lemire, one of my favorite writers, um, the Canadian uh, Wizard of Wonder, writing comic books, fantastic, fantastic storyteller. Descender is definitely one of my favorite titles by him. It follows. Uh, a handful of characters. It's set in a, in a in a uh, alternate future from ours, where essentially robots and and machine kind have integrated with humankind until one day, um, the UGC experiences an attack by the harvesters, as they're called, these giant massive robots that showed up one day, and decimated a good chunk of the population. Um, in parallel, in in sort of. After, after the events of that, um, we get to see uh, this character, Tim21, get awakened. He was a companion bot from way in the past, um, about a decade in the past, who sort of fell asleep during the Harvester attacks and now has, has reawoken um, and has set a, a lot of people on alert. The UGC is, the UGC is on alert for him. Uh, there's a planet called Gnish with the Gnishians. They're they're on alert for him. A lot of uh, scrappers, as they're called, which are, are are organic beings that hunt down robotic beings. Um, they're aware of Tim Twenty One as well. And Tim Twenty One with his uh, companion dog, his pet dog, uh, Bandit. They they both try to essentially find their way off planet. Try to find uh, their their original family. Um, Tim 21, since he was a companion bot, he was the brother, as it were, of a character named Andy. Um, you get to find out all about this stuff, the entire history of Tim 21, all these dots and these threads get connected, who are the harvesters, um, who is this Dr. Quan character who, you know, is the UGC's uh, robotic specialist. A lot of really, really fascinating things happen in the story. You get introduced to this character named Telsa who uh, gets heavily, heavily involved with Tim21, um, the UGC as well. She's part of the UGC. You get to find out a lot more about her as a character. Um, you get to find out, you know, what happened to Tim21's family during the Harvester attack. Why why was he asleep this whole time? What's going on on the planet that he's from? You get to explore a plethora of planets within, within this universe in general. You get introduced to a lot of lovable characters, uh, Queen Between, um, driller, drill, driller is a real killer, let me tell you. Um, and you get to find out the history of this universe, which is so incredibly fascinating. Uh, the exploration Jeff Lemire does of of machine and human relationships in this is is really fascinating. Um, sort of exploring the idea of you know artificial intelligence getting so good to the point where you can hardly distinguish between humans and robots. Um, how robots would develop relationships with humans, how robots could potentially um, feel emotions, uh, feel pain, feel, you know, longing for someone. Um, it's very, very interesting stuff, especially considering the day and age we live in where these technologies are moving further and further ahead. Um, they're starting to gain slight personalities, whether it's, uh, you know, a, a voice-assisted piece of equipment within your home or on your cell phone. I won't say the names because I don't want them to freak out uh, when I do, but either way, it's a, a very interesting exploration of that and sort of the idea of, you know, if there is other life in space, 
when has it been around since um, have there potentially been other uh, farly advanced civilizations that have come and gone that have created potential technologies that humankind may one day create um, a, a lot of really fascinating ideas explored here the idea of cyborgs coming together and people wanting to integrate with machine kind we've of course seen this in other titles um, sci-fi titles, sci-fi stories, sci-fi movies, but I think Jeff Lemire does a, a really interesting job of exploring it, and then also, you know, giving, changing your perspective on it with a character like Tim 21, who's a, a, a very, a very rich character, considering it's essentially modeled to be, you know, a, a teenage child who, um, adapts to human emotions, adapts to human actions and reactions. Um, you can see, he had to learn about this this uh, group called the Hardwire, which is a, a sort of a machine kind resistance uh, that uh, you know is fighting for the for the rights of machine kind. I mean, uh, it, it it's fascinating. I, I you know, there's always the argument of um, well, robots are if one day they become intelligent enough to be super close to humans, you know, they have human skin and, and things like that. Um, would there be some potential for them to feel emotion? Is it all just programming? Um, you know, these are these are, are crazy questions that I, I don't think uh, anyone watching this video will be around to have to explore or challenge themselves with. But th this story lets you really explore all of that. The only downside to this story is it really does feel like um, if it wasn't for a sender, I don't know how satisfied I would be with the ending for this title. Um, it's, it's definitely a, an, a, an ending that I didn't expect a hundred percent, um, which is great. Um, I did, I did enjoy it, for, uh, you know, for the most part, but the fact that a sender's coming sort of makes me enjoy it more. I think I would be a lot more, a little more disappointed with the ending if it wasn't for the fact that there's this, you know, successor that follows it called the sender, but I'm very excited to check that out. I, I haven't read it yet. I haven't read a sender. I have read all of Descender. I'd read the first volume multiple times because I just, I had owned it in volume two, took a while to release and you know, it's been two years since I ordered volume two and I just received it. I'm, I'm really glad I was able to wrap this series up in physical form. It's, it's so well written. The dialogue's incredible. The art by Dustin Nguyen's fantastic. There are a lot of, uh, there are some panels that don't really have backgrounds, which, which is fine uh, in my opinion, because I, I think it flowed really well. Um, and you know, with with Jeff Lemire, you've you've seen a handful of artists that have this sort of style, including Jeff himself. Um, so it sort of matches up with uh, with the creator and and the style of writing. It's a relatively quick read too. It's such a huge pain, page turner. There are so many twists and turns, so many cliffhangers. Um, you just want to find out what's happening. The characters are, for the most part, likable. Um, the ones you dislike, you want to see get redeemed you want to see change and if they don't change well you want to see something else happen to them um, but either way um, a book like this a book like descender is the reason why why jeff lemire is in in my top five writers um, it's it, it covers every aspect uh, of a story you know that that i personally would want um, it explores relationships it explores family dynamics it explores uh economic dynamics, uh, social dynamics, a little bit of psychology as well, and then exploring an idea that um, is definitely in the near near future for, for humanity. You know, the, the prospect of robotics and uh, lifelike robots is, is not very far away, and I think even in our day and age, there are already, you know, there's a Boston Dynamics robot that looks like a dog, and I think about a decade ago, they were recording videos of... Um, of you know the engineers and the the QA team kicking the the robot around to show that it could balance itself, and uh, people were complaining about that that robot dog lives matter. I mean, this stuff's gonna happen, and uh, I, I think it's a little a little ways away. But it's really interesting to explore in a, a title like Descender, especially with a writer like Jeff Lemire who covers all these aspects of it. But um, I really love the series. Can't recommend it enough. What did you guys think? Have you picked up the title? Um, are you looking for the two deluxe editions? Are you going to be waiting for a reprint? Let us know down in the comments section below. And until next time, as always, you stay classy, Internet.